I didn't die. I'm back. I apologize. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Alfie and I'm back again. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys don't hate me. I haven't posted in like two months. I apologize. But yeah, I'm back. I'm sorry. I've been really, really bad situations past two months. My doctor's appointment went horribly wrong and everything was just going shit. So yeah, but I'm good now. I'm good. I'm G. I'm good. We're back to this. Okay, so I saw that the subscribers went up to like 51 subscribers. Like Oh my holy Jesus, thank you so much for that. That's crazy. Oh my god. Seeing this grow is really really cool and I'm glad that you guys enjoy my videos and shit like that. So yeah. Okay, so one of the comments down below, I don't know the name, I didn't really check to be honest, but it was really really sweet. So whoever said it, I thank you for saying it. Um basically they were like complimenting me and stuff, which was really really sweet. They asked me if I could make a video about coming out to friends and family, tips for that, and also tips for passing. So for this video, I'm just gonna do passing, and in my next video, I'm gonna do coming out to friends and family. So that's what we gonna do. Okay, so I have three tips for passing. They may not work very well, but I'm just gonna try my best and help you guys out. And there's things that I do myself, and people tell me that I pass very well as male. Ow, I'm just myself. So tip number one, facial. So I myself do not have very, very feminine features. I have quite feminine features. I don't have many, many feminine features, but it's there. But I myself, I'm not wearing it today, but I myself do masculine makeup and I also have my hair short. That was such a failure. Messy hair, don't care. So I got my hair cut about a year ago and I was so happy when I got it cut because I had like really, really long hair. But I got my hair cut about a year ago and I only started doing masculine makeup which I taught myself after watching YouTube tutorials so I didn't really teach myself but I kind of did. But yeah, when I put on my makeup I have quite masculine features then which makes me very very happy. So yeah. So if you guys want me to also make a video about masculine makeup just let me know because I'm proud to say that I'm trans and I wear makeup because makeup does not have a gender. Just like everything does not have a gender. Tip number two. Not showing my chest is thing I've struggled with for the past couple months until like two days ago. I've got good news. Drum roll, please. I got a binder. A fucking binder. I got a binder and I'm so happy. Um, one of my friends gave me a spare binder that their brother had used and it made me very, very happy because the other day I also ordered a binder from um, Underworks and I was like, holy shit, I'm getting a binder. And then two days ago I was like, holy shit, I got a binder. So. Yeah, I've been wearing my binder the past two days and it makes me very happy. I'm not wearing it right now because I was wearing it over time. But if you guys want me to make a video also showing my binder. God, so many video ideas. No time to make them. Fuck you, Junior Sir. I'll also show you my Underworks binder when it comes in and give you guys a review of it and what I think of it and if it's comfortable and if it works, blah, blah, blah. So yeah. But if for certain reasons you cannot afford a binder or if you cannot get a binder for yourself, I would recommend sports bras. Sports bras can be very, very good. Just do not get one that is too tight. It'd be the exact same as a binder. Do not hurt yourself while trying to bind because it can really damage you in the future and you do not want that. Bind safely. And last but not least would be voice. Now many people say I pass very well until you hear my voice. I try my best to drop my voice. My voice is also quite feminine since I've been younger. I've been trying my best to drop it. It doesn't work very well. But, you know, can't always be perfect. Unless you're me. But yeah, this is not my natural voice, by the way. I drop it as much as I possibly can, but it sounds very weird in my own ears. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna give you a voice comparison now to my real voice and to when I drop my voice, so yeah. So this is my real voice when I'm just speaking, you know, my voice is quite feminine. And this is me just talking, so yeah. And this is me when I drop my voice, so I don't know if there's much of a difference there, but I try my best to drop it and just to see if I can make my voice sound masculine in some type of possible way. But do not drop your voice too much as you will strain your voice and you will probably give yourself a sore throat, which you do not want. So make sure to not drop your voice too much. If you're dropping your voice and it's starting to hurt your throat, you know you're doing it wrong. Drop it to an extent where you can actually breathe and you're not like, <gasps> shit, okay, I need to speak, because you don't want that. Make sure you do it to an extent that your throat and your vocal cords can handle. And do not push yourself or your speaking vocal cords, what? Do not strain your vocal cords because you don't want that. Because then you won't be able to speak at all. So that's it, that's my tips on passing. I know they're quite shit, so I apologize. I try my best, I hope this video works out for you guys and I hope it helps anybody who's looking for it. So thank you for all the nice comments, they really, really, 
overall I can't English. They really make my day and they make me smile and they make me happy like a giddy little leprechaun. So yeah, I will see you guys very soon and I hope you had, have, or are having an amazing day. And yeah, I love you all so much. Bye! Day Transtastic! <laughs>